Okay, so this is just a really short video. I just wanted to um, show you guys some handy derivative shortcuts that you should know. Or not really shortcuts, but just derivatives that you should know and get used to. Um, uh, we could go through and prove them all, but that's not really necessary. Um, basically, I'll just write them down here, I guess. Uh, we'll start off with the derivative of cos of x. Cosine of x. Uh, this is sorry, f of x is equal to cos of x. Then f prime at x is going to equal to the negative sine of x. All right, so the next one, let's do uh, if we say g of x is equal to sine of x. Um, then g prime at x, uh, g prime at x is actually equal to cos of x, cosine of x. Uh, what are some other ones? Let's do, uh, let's call this one, h at x uh, is equal to, let's see if we had tan x. Well, the derivative of tan x would be h prime at x. Uh, is actually equal to secant squared x, secant squared x, which is equal to 1 over uh, cos squared x. All right, what's another one? Let's do, um, uh, what else do we have? I don't know, let's call it a at x. Another function, a at x. Uh, if, we get, uh, if you have a function that's ln of x, ln of x, then the derivative derivative of that, can't talk today, a prime at x, is just 1 over x. Uh, and the last one I'll just mention here is, let's call this b at x, I guess, our other function. Um, if you have e to the power of x, e to the power of x, this is the, the base of the natural log, um, this is kind of cool. b prime at x is still e to the x. And what that means is that this function e to the x that looks something like um, looks something like this, which is just crazy. Like every point on this line, uh, its slope is just equal to itself. Um, it's like it just boggles my mind a little bit, but. Uh, yes, yeah, so the derivative of e to the x will always just be e to the x. So anyways, you should just, uh, it's worth it memorizing these and uh, we'll move on to the next video where we can start putting these together with the product rule.